Have you ever been in a traffic situation, whether in a car or a van or a truck or a Vespa? Have you yourself or someone you may know, like your mother or a relative or a cousin or a dog or a child or a cricket or a celebrity or someone that you may have read about on an internet web blog ever misused a vehicle horn or even worse, not used one at all? If you answered yes to one or two of these questions, I have good news for you. I have created an instructional video on the proper uses of your car horn just for you. Scenario one. You are stopped at a red light and the light turns green, but there is a car in front of you that is not moving. It is customary to give them one to two seconds to allow them to get off of their iPhone and see the light. If this does not happen, give a quick double tap in a polite fashion to allow them to know, hey, please move. Scenario two. A car is inching dangerously close into your lane or even coming at you head on. In this situation, give one loud, sharp burst of your horn to let them know of your presence. Some may argue that by honking your horn instead of maneuvering out of the way, you are losing precious seconds and might even cause you to get into a fatal accident or even get killed. They are wrong. By honking your horn, you alert the person to your presence, letting them have the opportunity to get out of the way, or if you die, at least telling them, hey, I exist. Scenario three. If an elderly person or a young child is crossing the street at a sluggish pace, you can alert them with five succinct horn honks to let them know you are going a little slow for the rest of us and you should probably get alternate transportation than your legs. Scenario four. The proper way to honk your horn in the event that the Lakers lose the playoffs is as follows. Scenario five. When this song comes on the radio, this is the proper method for honking your horn. <laughs>